Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Beadwork Tutorial Tuesdays. Today is the very beginning, how to bead the basics. So, and I gotta tell you something, beadwork is easy. That's the big secret. Beadwork is really easy. It's fun. I know you can do it. Whether you're reconnecting with your roots, whether you're trying to make some money or just trying to pick up a hobby, it's fun. It's easy. I know you can do it. So let's get into it. Today I'm going to tell you the basic supplies that you're going to need and we're going to go over the basic two needle flat stitch. I think it's also called two needle applique or I don't really know the technical name, but it's beading with two needles. Old school beading is beading with one needle, but I prefer two. So I'm going to teach you guys the two needle way. All right, supplies needed. Where should I start? Let's start with a needle since we're talking about needles. So you're going to need two needles. I like to use short needles. Some people like to use those long beading needles and I just, I just found I was stabbing myself way too often. So I switched to shorts. <laughs> um, and now remember, the smaller the number, the bigger the needle. The bigger the number, the smaller the needle. So I am using, and when I say smaller, I mean thinner. I mean this teeny tiny needle is going to be able to string on, you can't even see it, some tiny beads. This small one is a size 12 sharps. John James brand needle. This little bit of a bigger needle, the one that I'm gonna to use to tack down the beads, this one is a size 10 John James Sharps needle. And with the needles, okay, you're gonna have your stringer needle. The stringing needle is the one that strings on your beads. This one has one knot. You're gonna to want to knot both the ends of the thread together. And then the needle to tack down the beads, you're gonna to wanna to leave one loose end. So here's the loose end, and then here is the knotted end. So when we're tacking down beads, we don't want this double thread going in between the beads. It's gonna to be too thick, and it's gonna spread the beads out too much. So we just want one layer of thread in between the beads when we're tacking them down. So we have one knotted end, and then that one loose end. I'll show you, it'll make more sense when I show you. So for thread, I like to use nylon thread. It's strong, it doesn't tangle as much as like a cotton thread. This one is Nymo brand or Coates brand. I wish, I don't know why it's colored out and I can't really see what it is, but these spools I buy from powwowfabrics.com. I will link her website in my, um, in the captions of this video. I bead on something called Pellon. It's Pellon Peltex 70, and I get it at like fabric stores. So in the fabric stabilizing section, you're gonna find this. This is called Pellon, and this is what I beat everything. Earrings, to headbands, to, I could even beat a big vest and back it with fabric. And it would just be just the beadwork on the front. So this is the headband. See, it's just kind of a, a nice, stable surface to beat on. Again, Pellon Peltex 70. You're gonna want some graph paper to draw your design on. And now this isn't totally necessary, and this is the most expensive of all of my supplies. I went and splurged, and I got this big, oh, of course, my kid's something, food, I'm assuming. <laughs> um, big thing of graph paper. This is a four by four. And, or sorry, 17 by 22 inch graph paper. And yeah, you could tape this together and do a really big piece. To me, this splurge was worth it. Graph paper is not, not like a necessity. You could do uh, your design on regular paper. And then we just sew that design onto the pellet. Some people like to iron it on with a heat and bond. Heat and bond is like a is like a thin web of glue. So when you iron it on, it just glues either your fabric or your paper onto it. Some people like to use spray adhesive. I prefer not to use spray adhesive because I found that it gunks up my thread, but some people do not 
get their threads gunked up. So it's just finding what works for you and making that work. There's no like, oh, you have to do it this way. It's finding what works for you. So let's get into the tutorial. Wait, did I go over that everything? Oh no, wait, huh, you need beads to bead. So I, I basically use two sizes for these bigger pieces. A bigger bead is going to cover more ground. So I like to use size 9 and size 11s. This one is a size 11 seed bead. So seed beads are like that donut shape. And this one is called a satin bead finish. These ones are size 9. They're bigger than the 11. So remember, same thing with needles. The bigger the number, the smaller the bead. So if you have like a size 15 bead, that's going to be like a tiny speck of a bead. Those are good for like earrings and stuff. Bigger things, bigger size bead. All right. I think that's everything. Yeah. So basically what I do is I draw my design and you don't really have to be a great, great at drawing to Draw your design. I basically drew a circle and a triangle and some accents and I filled it in with beads to get this design. But today I'm going to teach you how to bead on this one. This is my current project. This is a headband. It's going to be like this and then this. Anyways, we're working on this. So I am going to show you how to bead on this. All right, let's get into it. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention waxing up your thread. This is just like a beeswax. There's all types of thread conditioners, thread conditioners out there, and it's just gonna create a smoother beading experience. Your thread's not gonna tangle up as much, and definitely, definitely get some wax for your thread. All right, let's do this. So I like to bead the outlines first. So let's bead this little diamond. And first thing we're gonna do is take the stringer needle. That is the one that has the one knot on the end. Okay, we're gonna take the stringer needle and string some beads on. You guys, this is so easy. I know you can do this. I keep saying that, <laughs> but I have to drill it in your head. Bead work is easy, you can do it. All right, let's string some beads on. So these are size 11, seed beads. I like to just buy colors that I like. I don't really know a lot about finishes and bead types. I just buy what I think is pretty. Okay. And let me let you in on another secret. Always use one less bead than you think you're going to need. Okay. Yep. Just stab myself. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Hopefully not very many tears. All right. Okay, do you see this? Do you see how it is just right at that edge there? And like I said, oh wait, no, it's not. So push your beads down and see where they end up. Do you see how I could probably fit one more bead on there to get to the edge? I'm not. I'm going to leave it one less bead than I think I need. Okay. So let's put the thread in right where I need it to be, right there. Pull it tight, push your beads down, and now we just tack them on. And I like to hold the string in the back kind of tight so this isn't all loosey-goosey all over the place. Hold the string tight, and now we're going to take our tacker needle, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. The tacker needle, remember this is the one with one knot on the end and the other end is loose. So remember, we want just one single thread tacking down these beads. It's going to spread them out much less than a double thread would. Okay, so find your two beads. Let me see if I can get way in this camera. Is that blurry? Darn it. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay, so Tack down every two beads, that's it. Oop. Pull it tight. And now, I hope that's making sense. So it's just the one single thread that's tacking them down. You see that? 
one single thread is going to be tacking them down rather than the double thread. That's it. That's all that's to it. String the needles or string the beads on and tack down every two beads. It's really easy when you follow a design you've drawn. Now this is considered like freehand beading. I'm not doing like a bead pattern. There are some really good bead patterns out there online. If you don't want to do like a freehand drawn bead design, you can do whatever you want. Do what makes you happy. I'm going to go to the end of this line and we're going to end this tutorial. I hope today's video was helpful and I'm going to be doing a tutorial video every Tuesday. So come back, visit often, send me pictures of what you bead and yeah, let's make this beadwork community a positive, happy place and the more the merrier. That's it. Um, I will do more tutorials on how to finish off threads. You want to know? Let's just do that now. Why not? Well, maybe not. It looks like I just got a little bit tangled. Yeah. I don't know what just happened. Let's see? See, I make a tutorial and I get tangles. <laughs> I just got to find which thread to pull. There it is. All right, so say I finished beading. All as I do is I clip the thread. I tie these down in a knot. Okay. Tie both of them. Remember the double one and the single thread. And then I'm ready to start a new thread. Okay, you guys, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll be back next week with more tutorials. Talk to you later.